all started here in Guildford. We came here and, and the guys were absolutely brilliant back in 2010. They allowed us to do it. I learned so much from these kids on that lesson. I was so shocked when we walked away and we saw the footage. And then when Ed Bull saw it in, in Parliament as well that year, he was so shocked at the honesty and just the absolute clarity of what they were saying. It was, it was beautiful. Having worked with these teenagers now, the, the issues are the same as when I was growing up, the same as probably when you were growing up as well. You know, all of us looked in the mirror at some point and, and didn't really, really know who was looking back at us. And so, you know, our lives take different turns. Maybe it's an eating disorder, maybe it's self-hatred, maybe it's self-harming. Some kids are even trying to commit suicide. Now, all this stuff is kind of going on. And I think the pressures of being a teenager in 2011 is just enormous. It's much bigger than when I was younger. Young kids are dressing as adults in high heels and skirts and lipstick and hair. And, and what we're doing is we're, we're so obsessed with this ideal of beauty that we're being spoon-fed kids as young as 10 and 11 are, 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 are really contemplating having surgery done as soon as they hit 16 you know and for me that is a massive warning bell if we can get one hour of body confidence put into the national curriculum per academic year then i absolutely feel certain that these kids necessarily won't ever not starve themselves or won't ever not self-harm but they might have the tools to deal with it if that happens Tomorrow I'm actually going to London and having a lesson with nine other members of staff who are actually going to be teaching the lesson in Parliament Square and then myself and 12 of our students are going up to Parliament Square to actually take part in the giant body confidence lesson. I think that what we want to do is we want to inspire young people to be confident in themselves and to understand that it's really important to be comfortable with yourself. You don't have to be like anybody else. You are just as important as an individual. Yeah.